Hey guys, well here we are again in Fusion 360 and in last week's video we worked on the push-pull flange and in this week's video we're going to start working on the actual uh, injection chamber this whole assembly here. Uh, there's several different pieces here small pieces that need to be uh, machined out mostly on the G0602 so the first piece here is our stainless steel tube in which the nozzle will screw into. So that's what we're going to work on in this week's video. So let's take a look at what we have. Uh, this is just some one inch seamless stainless steel tube. It's a 0 0.120 thickness on the wall. So we have a three quarter inch diameter on the inside and a one inch on the outside. And we're just going to put this uh, chamfer here on the top. I'll probably just manually do that in the lathe with the jog buttons. And then uh, we're going to just machine these uh, threads here in the bottom. Now internal and threading uh, I haven't done on the G0602. I've done some external threads. This is a 7 8 14 internal thread. So for the first operation, what we want to do is I just want to get the internal dimension correct for the minor diameter of the thread. And we're just going to do that with a uh, internal boring tool here. And then we're going to come back out, up, uh, come back with a thread mill here, do our threads. Let's look at the um, cam setup here. For this uh, internal thread so we're doing inside threading what I did was I selected this internal the actually the minor diameter here that's what I selected I adjusted the stock ID and on our passes I took the major diameter and the minor diameter and subtracted the two and then you get your thread depth you can adjust this if you need your threads to be a little bit deeper if it's kind of tight and you want to loosen it up you can come back and adjust your your thread depth there um, but I always start with the major diameter minus the minor diameter uh, and how many step downs now you can put as many as you want here I'm starting with eight I'll probably end up doing some editing on the G code once I get it out there and get it tested um, the thread pitch in this case, this is 7 8 14, so it's 0 0.0714. And then, uh, if you want to do a spring pass, now this just gives you one extra pass there at the end. In my experience with the G0602 on the external threadings, you need a couple of spring passes there. And then we're going to do a full retraction. Uh, we're going to approach from the first tool path point and retract to safe Z. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There we go. So we're just barely cleaning up the ID there. And then we're going to do a tool change. And with our thread mill, we're going to eight passes and one spring pass. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, so let's go out to the G0602 and we'll do some internal threading. All right, so we're out on the G0602 and we're gonna be doing some internal threading. Now this is a 7 8 14 thread. Uh, this is the first time that I'm going to be doing some actual internal threading of this size with the G0602, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I can use a tap, but as you guys know, tapping a hole like this, uh, especially in some tube, can be uh, a pain in the butt. So we're going to give it a shot on G0602. Now this is some one inch uh, seamless stainless steel tubing. Uh, it's a uh, 0.120 thickness on the wall. And uh, this is for our nozzle. So we, our nozzle is uh, 7 8 14 thread. 
So uh, let's get started. Zooming in here. Just cleaning up that wall thickness there. The Altros turret works really well. Now the stick out is pretty stick out is a, a lot here, but it seems to be a doing okay. There's a little chatter. of that you heard but I was saying the stick out on this is a pretty good bit um, so there's a little bit of chatter but it seems to be doing okay now I did put a couple spring passes in here and so what I've done earlier is if it's I'll test fit it and if it's not good then I'll just uh, run the code again from the threading operation let me uh, check it out here I'd rather it be uh, tight than loose, and then I can um, just rerun the code. Okay. A little tight. So I'm just going to rerun this same G code on a, another time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it from the thread operation. So. I'll scroll down to the thread operation right here. I'll select from here. Then I'll hit cycle start. It'll ask if I want to do a preparation move, and I'm not going to do that because of where I started it. And then I'll just hit cycle start, and it'll just start from the tool change there, which the tool's already in there, so it should be okay. tell it cut more there on that time so I know that the spring pass there's a good bit of flex because I have this sticking out so far uh, it is a big tool it is a big thread and it's in the turret so I'm guessing there's some flex there all right let's check it oh, slippery All right, I'm gonna put you on the tripod here. We'll get a chuck key here. All right, let's see. All right. So I can hold this. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. It's kind of tight, but that's okay. I would say it's uh, just the way I want it. Uh. 
Yeah, there we go. All right. Get this out of the way. Okay, so that there is the nozzle assembly. Now I just need to chamfer this side, uh, and I'll probably do that manually. But that's going to turn out just right. Got a bunch of junk in here. Oh, my hands are all slippery. Okay, I'll put that back in the chuck, take that out, and uh, clean that out then I'll turn it around and I'm gonna just hand chamfer the edge here all right guys so I thought I'd just show you here what I'm doing I'm just manually jogging this and chamfering this edge I'm just using the jog key so I'm using these two to go in and these two to come out and I just every time I just bump it over a couple times and then take a little bit more off see that's the threads turned out pretty good may need to come back and just clean that up with a little burr right there a little more of the thread started and then the chamfer I need to hit that with a just knock that corner off right there but that'll be good that wraps up the stainless steel chamber for the injection motor machine and in the next video we'll work on uh, the outer portion here uh, that that's really going to get the heat and also we have a funnel here to go on to the top all right guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner also click on that notification bell that way when I post a video, they'll send you a notification and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.